Montana man. Shit, ha, shit, ha, shit, Montana. Shit, ha, shit, ha, shit, Montana man. Shit, ha, oh my god, it's shit, Montana man. I can't love no bitch cause I'm a money, yeah, I run it up. Sippin' so damn much, I'm lookin' down, I got a stupid gun. Chillin' with the gang up in LA, oh yeah, we stupid up. How you fallin' like this? You don't want to, you a stupid fuck. I can't love no bitch, man, they be flyin' in this game, man. What was the scariest thing that happened to y'all when you were alone? You know what? I already have a good one, bro. I told him this and it happened 2016 or 17, bro. I was just coming home from basketball practice. Nobody was home. It was, you know, probably like seven or eight, you know what I mean? So it's already dark outside. So I'm coming inside. I'm like, bro, I'm fucking gassed, bro. I'm just damn near about to go to sleep. I'm taking a shower, go to sleep. And I look around the house, nobody's home. I go upstairs to my room, bro, and I'm getting changed, right? I start taking off my clothes on everything I love, bro. To this day, I still can't explain this shit. I take off my pants and right when I take off my shirt, I get my shirt like right here and i swear to you bro i hear somebody yell at the top of their lungs downstairs in my house on my dad's grave and no bro i'm telling you nobody's home it sounded like a woman in pain bro like it was like <sighs> i put this on everything i love bro this was like 2017 16 instead i put my shirt down like what the fuck <laughs> and at first i'm thinking like bro like is that my mom but i was like nah bro that sounded like a elderly white woman it bro or, no it sounded like it was downstairs in my fucking That's kitchen crazy. i run downstairs bro actually matter of fact let me not even cap i fucking walk downstairs fearfully <laughs> i'm not gonna cap i'm like what the fuck? <laughs> I go downstairs, I walk through the whole house, bro. check the garage, check the backyard. Nobody's at my house, bro. My mom's car's not there, my brother's car's not there. Nobody's home, bro. Yeah, that's and then even to continue to add on to the weirdness, bro. Later on that night, I go to my room like whatever, bro. It is what it is. I was tripping, right? I go to my room, I lay down, bro. I'm laying like this. Like on my side, you feel me? And I'm on my phone, I'm sitting like this on everything I love, bro. I got no reason to lie about these fucking stories. I'm sitting like this on my phone, bro. All I feel is this, nobody's in my fucking room on my dad's grave. I feel something flick the fuck out of my ear, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instantly, I got up, I ran in my mom and dad's room, bro. Yeah, I'm a grown ass yeah, man, and I'm yeah. like, you know what I mean? I'm already damn near almost 18, bro. Like I'm 17, 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, grown. I jumped in the bed with bro, them. Bro, damn near jumped in the bed, damn near wanted to sleep with them for the whole night, yeah. bro. I was like, bro, I'm not going back in there. Never. <laughs> I seen the story about this girl named Mary Perez and it happened in 1999 in Texas. The way this story starts is hella innocent, which is like what makes it sadder. The little girl is like at a, it's not a supermarket, but it's all of these people were outside in this like market square and they were all just turning up, having a good time because it was some type of um, holiday. There's just hella people around and her mom, I think it was her mom and dad that was both there. They are doing their own thing. They basically aren't paying attention to her, but when they're not paying attention to her because they're drinking, doing their own thing she ends up just vanishing they don't see her so they're looking around they're looking around at first and they're just kind of thinking that she just wandered off after a while bro like a, like probably 10 20 minutes of just looking themselves they started getting everybody else involved that was around like hey bro damn her stop the music bro like we gotta fucking find our daughter bro we can't find her at all they're looking 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 everybody else gets involved over time bro like throughout that week 
everybody in the city starts getting involved in looking for Mary. Oh, shit. So all these people are involved. The cops get involved. And I think by the end of that same week, she ended up being found by a overpass. And this person just like fucking dumped her body, bro. And oh, she was strangled to death. And like the family's fucking destroyed. They're like, bro, we got to catch this person. Like this can't go unsolved, bro. Like, this is insane. For the most part, bro, this dude didn't get caught. This person didn't get caught. The family's still sitting there grieving, just being like, bro, I just wish that this person got caught until hella months later, damn near December that same year in uh, 1999, a couple of miles away from where the girl went missing, these two girls that was 10 and 13, um, one of the girls' name was Kaylee, I forgot the other girl's name, but they were both sleeping, you know, going to sleep, getting ready to go to sleep. It's already hella late at night. When they go to sleep, one of them woke up to the sound of her friend getting stabbed mm, in her fuck? bed, bro, by that same person that killed yeah, Mary. Yeah. This dude broke into their house, and for some reason, bro, he attacked this little girl. So he's stabbing her, stabbing her, and she was on, um, they had a bunk bed, by the way, I forgot to even say that. Okay. So she's on the top bunk, she's seeing this, her homegirl, or I think it was her sister, get stabbed up. She tries to run out of the room and get away from bro, but he goes, grabs her, and he slices her throat. These girls were this sisters? Is, yeah, they were sisters, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were sisters. And it was the same dude that killed yeah, the that girl killed Mary. Yeah, so the girl that got her neck sliced she ended up living bro oh shit she survived it Ooh. and then she ends up like getting out of the house and because i think they were home alone at the time she gets out of the house goes to somebody ends up calling 911 for her because they see that her neck is fucking leaking yeah leaking like crazy she goes to the hospital when they already patch her up they start asking her all these questions like what happened like did you see the guy she tells them like yeah i seen that um he was like he had a slender build and this is and i just kind of describing what she remembered she damn near described this dude pretty fucking good and the police were already having this other dude you suspect. know yeah as a suspect and this guy was supposedly already killing people throughout the country so they're like okay we're pretty sure it's this guy you know what i mean because there was already a lot of weird shit that was in this guy's past and shit like this like, we're pretty sure it's this dude and it was this guy named um, tommy seals they ended up going to this dude's house bro was just doing his thing acting like his life was still normal like he didn't just fucking kill these girls he's posted up inside his house they go over there end up arresting dude and he ends up getting the death penalty bro they gave it to him that same exact year. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, crazy. How many people did he end up killing? They said it was over 20 when they Holy ended up shit. Yeah, seeing all the, you know, adding it all up, being like, okay, so he was the guy that was killing people all over the country, and they added it up, and it was over 20 bodies, bro. That's crazy. Fucking insane. Yeah, when I heard this shit, I was just like, bro, what the hell?